From the 1860s through the 1940s, Colorado Springs was rich in history and mystery. And now you can be a part of showcasing that era. Craig Coffee is downtown with more on what you'll discover during this unique Pioneers Museum experience. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, got my gloves right here back at the, thank you, Pioneers Welcome. Museum for the museum experience right now. We're talking about how you can be a part of what goes on here behind the scenes and create a real active working exhibit for the museum. Crime and punishment is, is the feel-good uh, yeah. piece we're working on this time. Um, brand new program, kind of a pioneer program, too. Uh, here are some of the artifacts right now that you can, uh, we'll be dealing with here. These are uh, handcuffs, right? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Do you still the keys for these, by the way? I hope so. I may get put in them. I don't know. Hey! Okay, man. All right, Matt. Working late nights in the yeah. museum, right? Okay, these are, uh, are these for the ankles or legs? Yeah, those are leg irons. Huh? Leg irons, mm -hmm. okay. Now, I mean, could you still use these or? No. Uh, I would. Were these that back. effective back then? Well, I, they look effective to me. I mean, they're, yeah. you know, it's a chain far enough apart that people can walk, but they can't run. Oh, okay. All right, all right. And what's, uh, what's this concoction right here? It is, uh, probably Probably a bottle of poison. Poison. Was, it's carbolic acid, probably used in a, in a case here locally. Wow. And we'll have to find out the story behind it. Okay. And of course, the good old brass knuckles. There you go. From that Beastie Boys song, Brass Knuckles. <laughs> you know, I can't tell you how many <laughs> brass knuckles we have in our collection, frankly. Really? Yes, yes they were apparently fairly common. They're the uh, weapon of choice, uh -huh. I guess, yep. right? Yep. When it comes to uh, crime and punishment. All right. So let's talk about this. Now, this I think is pretty amazing. Uh, you have a jawbone here mm -hmm. of a woman. Woman who was killed back in 1904 yes. here in the Springs. And this is so unique because this was one of the first cases you said of actual dental records being used to identify a body. Dental forensics. And um, Bessie Bouton was murdered. Her body was found uh, in Colorado Springs in 1904. Uh, as, as usual, the murderer gets away. Right. They try to figure out how can they solve this crime. Um, her, her dental work work is identified by a dentist in Denver. And along the way, we have the entire story of how this jawbone was used mm -hmm. to solve the murder. Ultimately, the murderer is identified, he kills himself, and the story comes to an end. But it's, it's a fascinating use of dental forensics very early in our history, and I've heard maybe one of the earliest in the nation. That's amazing, back in 1904. And what's her name, by the way? Bessie Bouton. Bessie Bouton, good old Bessie. Can I pick this up? You betcha. I want to go ahead and just show them right now. This is kind of what we're talking about here. Now, these are at her actual records? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what they uh, used. And a description of um, of how her dental records were used in solving the crime. All right. So we're talking crime, punishment. Up next, we'll talk about some unsolved mysteries and also some uh, fun facts about the springs you might not know. Yes? Sure. That's coming up here in just a little bit from the Pioneer. Here's museum back to you guys. First, with workshops taking place on the 8th, the 10th, and optional day on the 22nd. Also included in the experience is an opening reception, and that will be on the 29th. Now, there is a charge for the museum experience, so for more information, you're going to want to log on to the website, cspm.org, or call 385-5990.